My specialty is uh, base of the skull surgery and uh, that is the area that uh, supports the brain and uh, separates the brain from the rest of the head and face. Um, there are several tumors that can affect this area and I uh, usually work conjunctly with the neurosurgeons uh, in removing these tumors uh, either with uh, endoscopes through the nose or sometimes with incisions that we try to hide in areas that are not visible like the hairline. Um, I like that area and that's been an area of interest for me because the anatomy uh, that it involves is quite complex and requires uh, significant mastering of skills. When I was hired at uh, Georgia Health Sciences University, I was uh, asked to provide a list of all the technology and equipment that would be required uh, for my job. Um, Skull-based surgery, particularly minimally invasive skull-based surgery, is highly dependent on technology. Uh, we usually use navigation systems to uh, work our way through the skull base, um, and these are an integration of imaging systems with CT scans and MRIs, as well as a computer that matches um, our location within uh, image. Uh, and it essentially works like a GPS of the head. And um, because of this, you know, we are able to do minimally invasive uh, approaches to these areas without a lot of um, difficulty. Granted that the knowledge of the anatomy is important, the technology is just as important. What is important is not to uh, fit an approach to the patient but find the best approach for a patient given uh, the tumor location and tumor histology. In other words, different tumors are managed differently. Some require surgery, some require surgery, radiation, or surgery, radiation, and chemotherapy. And therefore, the input from every specialty is important in optimizing outcome. Uh, there are some patients that can benefit from minimally invasive approaches but those have to be tailored uh, appropriately so that the patients have the best outcome.